So what we're doing today, guys, is we are starting the process of putting bands and some screening in uh, around the uh, transitions, uh, around some of the blind locations that we know uh, for sure are going to be in, uh, some of our gun blinds and our uh, octagons. And uh, so what we're doing is we, I have elected this year, as far as screening, did a bunch of research, and I've got some clients that have, are having some good luck with this, um, have had the good luck with this over the years. And uh, it's the uh, Domain Seed brand, the Incognito screening. Now it's got some Egyptian wheat and stuff in it, which I really like. It's high in Egyptian wheat. Um, and I have really good luck with that. If you follow the channel at all, you'll see that uh, um, I usually plant straight Egyptian wheat. But this year, uh, I, I decided to to uh, try some of this. And I've seen it on client properties, and it's it looks pretty good. So what we're doing is tying the screening in. So the screening not only... Um, that you can use for access reasons but what i'm doing here is we're talking about uh, bands now when i say bands i mean bands that go from one wood lot to another that doesn't that do, don't connect we're banding them together so as you can see here behind me we have one draw we draw we actually have three on the property here in kentucky but the ends of them all transfer what i would relate to transferring off the property it's dumping deer it's filtering deer in and it's dump they're now dumping deer off they're they're kind of long linear run uh with the with the um, the uh, fence lines or the, the property lines and they're dumping deer off and what we want to do is to create more of a core and to create that um that transition area that i that i speak of i have to transfer the deer from the bottom here which is to the west side of the farm uh, kind of the southwest here back over the top of this which is a 200 feet uh, gap it's about 65 yards across it so we're going to have a we're going to have an octagon blind right down here on the bottom of it and it's uh it's like 25 yards to the center of the band which is the transition area and that band is going to transfer like i said deer from that from that uh, here kind of the southwest over across the ridge into the next uh draw here the hollow and then goes all the way kind of north northwest and filters all the way into another uh, food plot system that we have on the top of it and another band that dumps over and goes in uh, another big draw on the back side so here we have another band uh, we just talked about the first one up uh, up front there just above the house the cabin and uh, now we have another one in the back so i just wanted to show you this one as well same theory you can see you down below if you come along with me here um, you can see we've got mineral station camera and this is one of the spots on here that's going to be uh, a pretty powerful deal we just have to treat it with kid, kid gloves uh, very very um, soft approach uh, this stand here that I'm going to show you might only get hunted once uh, you know once a year twice a year but it's going to be very powerful there's a native two native scrapes actually on both sides of this and that's why we are banding this over uh, this is the uh, part of the transition that comes up out of the draw that we were talking of mulch out there so now we're picking it up on the other end and it comes right out uh, right underneath the cedar there right in front of the camera we're gonna come it's gonna come up out of the bottom we're gonna mulch that 12 foot wide we're gonna band this 30 yards wide all the way across and what this does now is now you can see if we flip around here now you can see that this is it comes from that side bands over and it's gonna go right in uh, the other the other draw here that tips down and I'll go down into what we're going to refer to as uh, Copperhead Road. So what we're doing is we're, we are making these bands stretching from woodlot to woodlot or draw to draw across uh, native hayfield and reclaiming that back into uh, to a secluded or a secured area where they feel more secured crossing. And after we lay these out, and I'll show you in the area here how this uh, kind of lays out so it makes more sense, transferring these deer to keep them moving, build a core, and right on the outside of this, we have an octagon. So we're going to have the domain uh, incognito planted, and that's, you know, the Egyptian wheat. Hopefully we can get it to that 8, 10, 12 uh, foot mark. And what that does is here, behind us, actually, about only about uh, 200 yards on this location, is the house, uh, the cabin. So we act it's actually uphill from it. So if we are able to get some screening up that 8 to 10 foot, It'll seclude the house, and it starts this band. Now, this band is going to be um, 
this band of that secludes this transition that builds this transition across this open field now that's which is not here now this band is is going to be about 30 yards wide and uh like i said the the octagon is going to sit on the outside of it and right on the bottom here right out of the draw we're going to actually mulch in my transitions right now it's just uh, red cedar and it's just thick thick nasty stuff there's actually a bunch of old debris uh that from the uh, previous owners when they cleared these fields years ago they put a bunch of uh, uh, berms up on the edge here and it's all regrown you can see all in this new redwood uh, has all grown along the edge I've, edge I've got a bunch of uh, autumn olive and it's a solid wall through but you can see in the background there's a bunch of cedar so what we're going to do is we're going to come down through here and you can see I painted in the distance I'm not sure if you can see that or not uh, but the orange mark is where the transition or the uh, the screening starts now what the what this is is instead of having that corner come right out to where the transition meets the band this 30 yard band that we're putting across here uh, what i'm doing is i'm putting the octagon behind it 30 yards about 40 yards actually from this and we're putting the transition will actually be coming up uh, the bank here uh, the, mulching the bank mulching up the bank with the transition and then peeking out right 25 yards right in front of the the octagon perfect bow setup and the reason we're going with an octagon there is because there's no huntable trees that's on the slope and right up above it uh, we are actually making a long linear food plot so the object is is to leave that wall that was created there by the old brush berm poke a hole out here in front of this the blind have the deer only not only be able to transfer over uh, especially the bucks cruising transfer over the ridge system here and back into this draw but they'll also be able to enter and exit the food plot from right here in front of the stand and the rest of it shut off there is one logging road up here and we're going to do some uh we're going to do some felling across that to block it off so the deer have to actually transfer down and use this hole that we're going to put in uh we're going to put in place here so that that transition drops over and i've got a bunch of stands that come up to it from the bottom on the outside uh, you know some p.m. we get to the top it switches the other way and we've got some really really good a.m. sits down in there That's where we're getting a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the velvet pictures down in the bottom old old uh, There's an old uh, dry uh, pond down in there um, So so that the band itself uh, Explaining that a little better what we're going to do is you know So we've got the, the screening on the one side of it the Egyptian weed or the the uh, incognito planted and then what we're going to have that's right at the in front of the uh, right on the edge of the the food plot so the ag is going to be in the center this band is going to come around with a food plot that's going to keep deer moving around and then we actually have the we actually have the screening right there and then the incognito is going to be planted uh, there and then 30 yards behind that so a 30 yard band going across this is going to be we're going to let this uh, regrow into uh, go back to to brush and what I'm gonna so what I'm gonna put on the outside of this is as I'm going to put uh, a bunch of a, a row of cedars so I'm gonna take a bunch of cedars that are out of our area where we're gonna plant or something like that that might get killed and uh, sprayed I'm going to band that back across here so there's actually a wall between here and the house so you've got house you've got about 200 yards of set aside hay field or 100 yards of set aside hay field up the hill You've got a row of, we're going to uh, put that first row of cedar across it and then let this grow back native with all this cedar brush. I'm going to add some, some more cedar into it. We're going to find some uh, bush habitat. Uh, we're going to put some uh, silky dogwood. I'm going to transfer some of the autumn olive up here to this. And we're going to thicken this area up, this band across it so they feel secure coming out of the bottom, out of our, our mulch transition, coming up, hitting this band. The bucks can check the uh, the ag scent check the ag and also the food plots and they can go right over the band in the backside of some more doe bedding and continue on. In the meantime, it sets uh, sets this up perfect for the um, for the the uh, stand location here with the octagon. So so banding this one. This one's narrower. This one's only uh, about 35 yards across it, and because it's only 35 yards across it. There's a stand right there going in those uh, that triple set of uh, maples there. So what this is, is the reason that this might only get hunted a couple times a year out of that maple right there on this band. So the band's going to come up. We're going to uh, enhance this, let it grow back, back to brush. Each side of this is a food plot. So it's an evening only set. 
and uh, has to be a, like an east wind, um, southeast wind, northeast wind, depending on where movement, and has to have an east, easterly twist to it. But what we're going to do here in this situation is, as you know, so I'm not on the plot because there's there's the band, there's switchgrass, and then the plots are on either side of us. But the way this lays out, we're going to be able to come up in here uh, and get dropped off with the buggy on a PM sit during the archery or the gun season. And like I said, it might only happen once or twice a year. And we're going to pull right up to the base of that. So this uh, Egyptian wheat uh, wall here of the, uh, we're going to encase this on both sides on this one. It's going to have Egyptian wheat or the incognito from domain on each side. So 30 yards encased in this. And then we're going to put the cedars as well, kind of boxing this in, banding this across and then poking holes out from the draw going over and then we're going to let this grow back to pretty much let it go grow back to brush or enhance that like i said up there we're going to be putting some of this let this red bud transfer over we're going to be uh putting um a bunch of this uh you know uh, autumn olive and stuff like that more cedars in here so this band connects this so we can transfer deer from the bottom up over the top in this open i mean this is like a it's a pinch here uh, and one of the reasons it's going here is it's a natural pinch point, but you can see I've got this whole top here Will be this portion of it out that way is going to be all all food all plot. This is actually that's about uh, Two and three quarter acres of, of plot and it looks much wider than it, it really is uh, in the uh, camera here But it, it's gonna have the band across and then if we turn this way and look back out over top of the ranger You can see uh, the band's gonna start and right there where the ranger is sitting is actually the end of the plot but it's got ag in the center so we're gonna have corn in the center and the green on both sides and that's gonna break that up so I can get in and out of this stand because of the buggy we're gonna pull right up here to the end of the ag we're gonna make a circle get out of the stand climb right in the buggy and we're gonna be off and gone after dark uh, this this band idea that I've had uh, has you know came from um, has come from uh, transferring deer instead of just settling with the fact that the deer are are uh, you know going long and linear uh, taking like a 72 acre uh, farm that we have here and I really feel that these bands are so important I've not only got this one I've got about I get think I've got two others that we're going to do on the farm here and that like I said that transfers deer from one draw to another across an opening and you're thickening that back up so you can consider that part of your transition so that transition is completed 360 degrees around your farm.